Friday Fitness. On a Wednesday, we're going to talk about, as the video is titled, the BMI is completely meaningless, you can stop thinking about it. Uh, I tried to find the first book that brought this to my attention, and I can't remember which book it is. I remember reading it and becoming furious because I had previously believed what a lot of other people probably still believe, that the body mass index must be based on something. Right? We've all heard that um, the BMI is unreliable for really fit athletic people because like, the body mass index doesn't distinguish between muscle and fat. And, but we, we all kind of thought it must have come from something useful and has a little bit of a flaw. Maybe it's outdated, but it's just grandfathered into our current terminology. And we could be doing better, but we're choosing not to. Uh, I was shocked to find out that it was always useless bullshit. It has never been a valuable indicator of anything. Um, and I, I learned this from a book, again, apologies, that I, I can't remember which book, so I can't give credit to the author. Uh, but then, subsequently, later in life, um, Maintenance Phase, the podcast, did an episode on it that... Um, illuminated all these things as well, and I will link to the Some More News episode hosted by Katie Stoll, and I'll even start it at the timestamp for the chapter called BMI is Bogus. And I'm relieved every time I hear someone else acknowledge this bullshit. Like, this is like a, a hobby horse irritant of mine now, even though I know the information, and more and more people are knowing the information, it just irks me. And I saw a video yesterday from a fitness channel that was talking about the BMI and the obesity epidemic and what to do and yada, yada, yada. And it was just the same old trite, meaningless, uninformed shit. And I just felt compelled to do this. <coughs> uh, I have uh, like four subscribers. So this is entirely for my own edification. But here we go. The BMI is bullshit. It was... It wasn't even invented. It's not a thing. But um, Adolf Quitlet, or some pronunciation of that variation, or some variation of that pronunciation, uh, was a statistician. He was a, a, in the 1830s. He was an astronomer and a mathematician, and he took a sample of French men and Scottish men and just took, and he made the equation for the BMI of just height times weight squared. And he just applied it to the two populations of, again, European men that he had. And then said, well, the average of that must be good. And then a deviation on either side must be less good. And then he dusted his hands and went on to trying to prove that criminality was hereditary his real eugenicist passion. It was insurance companies who said, there's an idea, there's a way we can put a number on health so that we can screw some people out of some money. We can rank health, and if you're unhealthy, we can charge you more and deny you more. It's great. And so the BMI, via insurance companies, crept into, like, again, it laid dormant for a century or more. But eventually insurance companies were saying like, oh, we're, we're going to use this. We're going to make doctors use this. And we wound up with nearly the BMI we have today. Because also in the 90s, the threshold for overweight and obesity got moved down. So you might weigh the exact same in 2001 that you did in 1996, but you might have become overweight or obese. And so when people talk about an obesity epidemic and rising rates of obesity, it's, yeah, because you rose them using meaningless numbers of a meaningless metric. So everyone knows, like I already said, I'm making this really off the cuff. I suck at these things. I should write scripts. Everyone knows that the BMI is meaningless for very athletic people. Um, it is also meaningless for women and Black men have been, like, it's been shown, it's, this is in the Summer News episode, 
black men have just like a wildly different ratio according to the BMI of what is a healthy body fat percentage and things. I know from maybe maintenance phase or maybe from the book that like the BMI is useless for Polynesian populations. Uh, it's not very effective for measuring health in Asian populations who are usually skinnier but have all of the same health outcomes uh, of negative health outcomes. Like the BMI doesn't make you healthy, it doesn't assure that you are healthy, and it's not an indicator that you are unhealthy. And the truly bullshit thing about it all is that we do not need to rely on a vague possible indicator of health to check health. If being obese means you might have high blood pressure, we can just check your blood pressure. We don't have to assume that you do. There are overweight and obese people who don't have high blood pressure. There are thin people who do have high blood pressure. The right thing to do is not look at vague external indicators. Just get your blood pressure checked. Like, get a physical. And the things that come up on your physical, deal with them. Doctors shouldn't be shitty about telling people to lose weight before that doctor will engage with helping them with their health. <sighs> so yeah, there it is. That's just a quick little rant. I don't want to, like, get repetitive and drag this out. Hopefully I feel better. Hopefully this gets a view. <sighs> the BMI is absolutely meaningless. And just in case anyone does watch this and wants to argue, I'm not saying anything about obesity being healthy or unhealthy. You can feel about that however you want. I genuinely don't care. Um, it's putting a number on it. Using the BMI is stupid. This is astrology for people who want to be cruel about something. There it is. Again, don't want to make this too long. Friday Fitness.